Let's read the initial problem. A rabbit and a frog are racing. This graph shows the distance traveled by each one since the beginning of the race. So here we are given a table. We have time, which is in our minutes column, and then we have a column for lapin or rabbit and grenouille or frog. These two columns are going to be our distance traveled. So these columns represent how far each animal has gone at a given time. Now, time they give us in minutes. Meanwhile, the distance traveled, they don't give us a unit. This unit could be meters, kilometers, miles, any unit of distance. So at time three minutes, the rabbit has traveled 180 while the frog has traveled 18. That's what this table is telling us. We can look all the way at, to at time 15 minutes. The rabbit has traveled 900, meanwhile the frog has traveled 450. So the final question asks us, if the race lasts half an hour, who will win? In order to understand this problem, we can create a visual representation. We can create a graph. Generally, in a graph, time is going to go on the x-axis. Meanwhile, distance traveled is going to go on our y-axis. So our table, or our graph, can look like this. So we have time placed on the x-axis and distance traveled placed on the y-axis. Now, at each point that we are given, we can plot it. So first, we're going to plot it for the rabbit. So after three minutes, the rabbit has gone 180, so that's going to be around here. Meanwhile, after six minutes, the rabbit has traveled 360, so around here. We can keep plotting that, so at 9, 540. At 12, is going to be 720, so around here. And at 15, 900, so here. Next, we can plot all the points for the frog. So at time is equal to 3, the frog traveled 18. So down here. At 6, 72. At 9, 162. 12, 288. And 15 is 500, 450. Now, we can connect these lines in order to show a graph. So, for our, fro or our rabbit, we're going to connect. We see that this looks like a straight line. So, we're going to draw a straight line through all of our points, all the way up to the point we are given. Meanwhile, our frog looks more like a parabola. So, we are going to start from here, connect all of our points up to here. Now, we aren't given a point for zero. However, we know that at the beginning of the race, that is going to be time zero, right when the clock starts. We also know that both animals are going to start at the starting line, so we can call that their zero point. So that way, after a certain time, they will travel a distance from zero. Now, we want to know if the race lasts half an hour, who will win? On our table, we aren't given points for after 30 minutes, but based on our graph, we can project that. So, for here, since we know this is a straight line, it is going to continue in a straight line like this. Meanwhile, for our... Here, I'll label this. This is going to be our rabbit. We're going to put it in blue. And our frog is going to be in pink. So for our frog, we can also continue our graph, which is going to look something like this. Now, we know that at some point, the two animals are going to cross. So at some point, even though it seems like from our data points, that the rabbit travels much faster, we know that based on our graph, the frog is actually going to increase their speed and one day maybe catch up to the rabbit. But we don't know at what time this is going to be. In order to figure that out, or in order to figure out where each animal is going to be after half an hour, we can solve some equations. So first what we're going to do is we're going to create an equation for the line of the rabbit. So since we know 
the rabbit is traveling in a straight line based on our graph here, we know that the equation, the general of equation of a straight line is going to be y is equal to mx plus b. Now m here is going to be our slope, while b is going to be a constant. So any number. So m is slope, b any constant. This could be 5, 10, 15, 20, any number. It could be 500, 700, no one knows. So, first we're going to look at the slope. Slope means change in y divided by our change in x. So m is going to be, this we can call delta y, change in y, over change in x. Now, change in y, you can choose any two points on the y-axis. So, for example, let's choose the farthest and the closest. So here, this point is at 900. Meanwhile, our point down here is at 180, which are the two points they give us here. 900 and 180. So our change in our y is going to be our farthest point, so 900, minus our closest point that we chose, 180. Divided by, we want the change in x. So our change in x is going to be the corresponding x value. So our first one is going to be 15 minus 3. So we're going to have 15. This is going to give us 720 divided by 12, which is 60. Therefore, we know our slope is 60. We can replace that in our equation. So y is going to be 60x plus b. Now we need to solve for our constant. In order to solve for our constant, we can choose any point that we are given, replace it for our x and our y value, and then solve for b, because b will be the only thing that we don't know in our equation. For simplicity, 0, 0, or the origin, is always a very good point to choose. It cancels out a lot of things very nicely. So let's choose the point 0, 0. So this is going to be our x value and our y value. So we are going to have 0 is going to be equal to 60 times 0, plus b. 0 is going to be equal to b. Now, if we wanted to double check that, we can choose another point on our graph. So let's choose the point 3, 180. So here, this is our x and our y. So replace, we have 180 is going to be equal to 60 times 3 plus b. Now, this is going to be 180 is equal to 180 plus b. So subtract 180 from both sides, 0 is equal to b. They're the same thing, happy. Now, we can replace our 0 in our equation, so our final equation for the rabbit is going to be y is equal to 60x plus 0. So we can leave it like that. Now, we know y is equal to 60x is our equation for our rabbit. We want to know where is the rabbit going to be at our time of 30 minutes. So after half an hour, now we can take our y is equal to 60x. We want to know where will the rabbit be. So we want to know y is going to be what at time is equal to 30 minutes or x is equal to 30. So we can replace x in our general equation. y is going to be equal to 60 times 30, which is 1,000. 800. So on our graph now, we know that after 30, our rabbit is going to be at 180. We also need to do a similar thing for the frog. So if we look at our frog, we know from our graph that it's a parabola. The general equation for a parabola is going to be y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a b, and c are all constants. So, any number. Now, in order to solve for this, we can do something similar to what we did with the rabbit. We can choose some points, replace them in our equation, and solve for our, our variables. So we're going to solve, we're going to choose the point 0, 0 first, because we know 0, 0 cancels things very nicely. So 0 is going to be equal to a times 0 plus b times 0 plus c. 0 is going to be equal to c. We know c is 0. Cancels. Next. We now know our equation is y is ax squared plus bx. We want to solve for our a and our b values now. So we're going to choose another point. The next point we're going to choose is the same one we used for 
our route we're going to choose after three minutes. So here, after three minutes, the frog now will have traveled 18. So replacing at 3, 18, we're going to replace that into our equation. So 18 is going to be equal to a times 3 squared plus b times 3. So 18 is equal to 9a plus 3b. Now let's choose another point. Let's choose the point 672. So at 72, when the frog has traveled 72 meters after 6 minutes. So now choosing the point 6, 72, we have 72 is equal to a times 6 squared plus b times 6. 72 is equal to 36a plus 6b. What we're going to do now is we're going to take our two equations, so this one and this one, and we're going to subtract them. In order to make that easier, we want to cancel one of the values very simply. So we're going to multiply this equation times 2, like this. So taking our equation, we have 18 is equal to 9a plus 3b. Like I said, we want to multiply this equation by 2, so we are going to get 36 is equal to 18a plus 6b. Taking our second equation, we have 72 is equal to 36a plus 6b. We want to subtract these two equations. Since now we now have 6b and 6b, subtracting those is going to be very nice. So 36 minus 72 is negative 36. 18a minus 36a is going to be negative 18a plus 6b minus 6b is 0. So Dividing both sides by negative 18, we have negative 36 divided by negative 18 is equal to a, or 2 is equal to a. Now, in order to solve for b, we can replace a back into our original equation. So we are going to have 18 is equal to 9 times 2 plus 3b. 18 is going to be equal to 18 plus 3b. Subtracting 18 from both sides, we get 0 is equal to 3b, so 0 is equal to b. We now know that a is going to be equal to 2, b is equal to 0, and c is equal to 0. So replacing those into our equation of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, we have y is going to be equal to 2x squared plus 0 plus 0. So this here is going to be the equation for our frog. Now, just like we did for the rabbit, we want to know, given our initial equation, so y is equal to 2x squared, what is going to be y, so what distance will the frog have traveled at time is equal to 30 minutes, or x is equal to 30. So replacing x into our equation, we have y is equal to 2 times 30 squared, which is 1,800. Now, if we remember, where was the rabbit at 30 minutes? The rabbit was at 1,800. Where was the frog at 30 minutes? The frog is at 1,800. Now, looking at our final question, our, or our initial question was, if the race lasts half an hour, who will win? After half an hour, both the frog and the rabbit are going to have traveled 1,800, which means that they are going to have a tie. So everybody wins. Therefore, we can look at our graph. Our graph shows that this here, the time, is actually going to be where our 30 minutes are. So both of them are going to cross at 30 minutes or hit our finish line after 30 minutes.